obviously it's been a, an emotional week for you guys. I was just curious, kind of what would have the last few days been like for you? And what do you think of the reaction, both the reaction to what you guys did on Wednesday and kind of the outcome from it with what's happened around the sports world, obviously with the NBA stepping up and trying to do more stuff to um, do the things you guys want to do in the community? I mean, it's been, it's been a lot going on. Um, you know, what we did was, was nothing to get, um, you know, notoriety, notoriety for. Uh, it was nothing that we were doing for a publicity stunt. Um, it's something that we did from our heart. You know, we were tired of uh, different things going on in this world. Uh, we wanted action. We wanted be, things to be held accountable. Uh, and we decided to, to do this as a team. And, you know, uh, before doing it, we said we have to live with the consequences, good or bad. And every guy stood there and stood by my side and, and me and the other teammates and uh, from there. But uh, to see how it trickled down into every sport, um, it, it really woke the world up and let them know that, you know, we're serious. Uh, we, we need change. We need more love in the, in the world and try to make it a better place. Are you talking about the, the previous game? Yeah. Um, the decision was uh, was pretty much, if we're just being honest, it was it was my decision in the morning to to not play. Um, you know, I just felt uh, disgusted. Uh, I felt like things needed to be changed. I was tired of all the killing, uh, the injustice, and things like that. And you know, as, as a man myself, I didn't want to put that pressure on my teammates. Um, I didn't want them to have to make that decision unless they wanted to. Uh, so as a teammate, I didn't take it to them. Um, that may be a little bit uh, on my fault, on my part, uh, to, to not take it to them. But I didn't want them to make a decision out of pressure and because we have a good relationship. So um, before the game, you know, guys were trying to figure out why I wasn't playing. and. You know, we spoke about it, Sterling spoke about it, and wanted to stand with us, and it was a trickle effect. Uh, every guy in our locker room uh, stood by my side and said, if, if, my, if my brother isn't playing, then we aren't playing, and we made that decision. And, you know, it was nothing that was premeditated. It was nothing that, uh, like I said, we're doing for clout or for anything like that. Um, it was just on our hearts and in our guts, and we followed it. And um, you have to tip your head to every one of these guys. And, and like I told them today, uh, you know, let, let's build from it. Let's continue to make change. Let's continue to talk about it. Let's continue to do things that, uh, that we can do that's quick um, in our city of Milwaukee and, and just embrace it. Eric Neem from The Athletic. Coach, um, so are you saying you didn't inform any of your teammates before any of that that you were going to be inactive? That, like, had you told Bud that you were thinking about not playing? Or, like, kind of how did all of that work? Or did they, did they literally just all find out at that same time, like 20 minutes before the game? All my teammates found out um, 20 minutes before the game. Um, I kind of had that talk with Coach Bud in the morning. Um, he kind of expressed it a little bit. Uh, but it wasn't a, sh a for sure thing for me. Um, you know, I just woke up feeling that way, and I told him it's a possibility that, you know, I'm not going to play this game. Um, you know, I prayed on it, I slept on it, uh, and and that's how my gut, you know, walked me down that valley, and um, I, I followed my heart. So um, none of those guys knew, uh, but all those guys stood by my side and deserve uh, all the credit for that. Did you go through like pregame warmups at all? Like, I, I'm just curious because I'm not there. Like, did did you try it and think it, or were you just like, no, as soon as you got injured? No, um, my my mind was pretty much much made up. You know, around noon, noonish that day, I uh, didn't go through any pregame. Um, and like I said, I, I didn't tell any of my teammates because I didn't want. You know, we're we're a close group. Uh, we, we enjoy being with each other off the court. 
Uh, we enjoy each other, uh, our families and, and things like that. So I didn't want to put that pressure on those guys if, if they didn't want to make that decision. So that was my thought of not just, you know, telling my teammates and, and letting them make that decision on their own. Nasira from Yahoo. Hey, George. Um, I just wanted to know, like, how does it feel for, for basketball, which is, of course, so important to you, to also be a distraction from some of the issues that you're trying to fix? And also on that same note, how did it feel to be out there playing again today? I mean, it's, it's always been that. You know, we're, we're held to a high standard. Um, you know, thousands of people watch us uh, and things like that. So we have to use our platform for, for the best of our ability. And, you know, at the end of the day, when we step off this court and take our jersey off, we're all human. We all have emotion. Things matter to us. Um, you know, we, we live that life. And some of us are more fortunate than others that come from backgrounds like that. And uh, sometimes it just affects us as human beings. Like we're disgusted with some of the things that we see. Um, but it's life and we have to figure it out one day at a time. But to, to be back on, on the court today, you know, um, I had a talk with my teammates and told them that um, even if some of them didn't agree with my decision the other day, uh, they all stood there and, and had my back. Um, you know, no matter what reason it was, they, they didn't ask questions. They, they felt it. They felt the emotional part of it, and they stood there. And um, as, as, as much as sometime I, I didn't want to be out there today, um, I can't give up on my team. Um, they don't deserve that. We have bigger pitchers, uh, and we're trying to continue to, to make change in our city. And I told them I want to stand with them just as much as they stood with me the other day. So I decided to get back out there, uh, leave my own personal ego um, you know, back where it is, and focus on my team and my brothers, and that's what I did today. Dan Wilkie for the LA Times. Hey, George, um, are you proud? Uh, as some, and I know you said you didn't do this for notoriety or something, but if you didn't make that decision on Wednesday, the last three days might look totally different. Are, are you proud of the reaction that that decision got? And I, I guess let's, let's leave it at that. Um, I don't say proud. I'm very humbled and blessed. Um, like, you, like I said, you know, in, in some people's eyes, we're heroes. And when we take this cape off, we're just regular human beings. We're people that come from these backgrounds that things are going on. Um, like myself, I grew up in a rough neighborhood in Indianapolis, and I'm, I'm one of those guys. I'm an African-American guy coming from a rough place, and, and that, that person can be me. That, that can be my uncle, my brother, my cousin, my friends, some of my AU kids in my organization, and, and that matters the most. You know, Basketball is something that we're best, blessed to play, um, but at the end of the day, it's uh, humanity and life is way uh, much bigger than, than what we're at stake. So, um, you know, I don't want any credit for it. Um, I just was a human and followed my heart. Thanks. Last two questions. Steve McGargie from AP. I just wanted to make sure you had said that you, your mind was kind of made up Wednesday morning to not play a game, to not play then. Had it already been? Did you start thinking about it when you talked to reporters after game four? Obviously, you were really upset at that point. Was that already kind of entering your mind, maybe the possibility of not playing the next game? I mean, for sure. Um, no matter uh, right or wrong of a guy, whatever he did, um, you know, no one deserves to get treated like that, uh, no matter what. You know, um, there's so many other ways that you can go about go about it and it just didn't sit well with me it wasn't a part of being a, a good human humanity and it didn't sit well with me and you know waking up the next day um, seeing what happened in Kenosha again uh, with the protesters and, and things like that you know uh, rest in peace to the guys who lost their life then uh, that day with the two young men and the, the other guys that are injured um, it, it didn't sit well and and like I told all the guys, man, this is much bigger than basketball, and that's what we always strive to be. You know, LeBron always says that we're bigger than basketball. It's more than it's, it's better. Uh, he's more than an athlete, and we're human. And you know, uh, at that point, you know, it, it kind of bothered me. But waking up that next morning really kind of sealed the deal. Tim Bontemps, ESPN. 
I know, I know, Jersey, you said that you um, decided to stand with your teammates like they said with you and decided to keep playing, but uh, I know everybody was pretty emotional Wednesday at that meeting everybody had. Did you ever get close to leaving or like in the middle of all that, or was that something that never really crossed your mind? I mean, it definitely crossed my mind. Um, like I said, I had a I had plenty of talks with, you know, our assistant coach Darwin, uh, Darwin and uh, Vin Baker, uh, and and you know, express those feelings that you know I just want to go home, man. I, I want to go back to Kenosha and try to do as much as I can to help um, all those guys and, and men and women there. Uh, that was what my heart was saying, and you know, they kind of told me to to stay here, be a part of it, um, embrace it, and you know, stay with my teammates and my teammates rally around me, um, you know, all day yesterday, just being there, talking to me, putting their arm around me, telling me how much they, they I mean to them and how much they love me. Um, I can't walk out on them. You know, this guy, these guys mean a lot to me just as individuals, as, as teammates and as people. Um, and, and it was bigger than that. Uh, I, I'm on site. Uh, could, could I ask a question real quick before you guys wrap? Oh, okay, who is that? This is Kyle Boone from the Orange County Register. Sure thing. Um, George, you said the other day that we shouldn't have even come to this damn place. Does anything that's transpired over the last couple of days make you feel any different? Has the needle moved on that? Me, me saying that was kind of raw emotion. Um, you know, at, at that point, I just felt like, you know, us playing basketball and and what's going on in the world, um, it was kind of getting lost in the shuffle. Um, you know, what we're, what we're down here for and that's, you know, to play for what's going on in the world. Um, at the end of the day, uh, saying being here wasn't, me being here wasn't going to stop what went on. So uh, I want to take that back and apologize for that. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, you want change, you want things to be uh, more civilized and, and people to to have humanity and you know like I said that's what means more than basketball to me and to my teammates and, and that's what we strive for. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content subscribe to ESPN plus.